Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Oxygen's slider element. So I'm going to put the slider in a section. So full, first, I'll add a section to the page, and I'm going to go ahead and set a color background and white text so we can see what's going on a little better. And then to add a slider, you go to Add, Helpers, Slider. And let's open the structure panel to see what uh, the slider is actually made of. So the slider consists of the parent slider element, and then inside we're given three slide elements. That's three individual slides. So to remove a slide, just delete it. If you want to add another slide, just choose an existing slide and duplicate it. So to put elements in the slider, just go to add, choose an element, and add it. It'll be placed in the slider. You can place any elements you want in the slider. So I'll add to the first slide, I'll add in a heading. Uh, I'll add in an image. Let's choose an image here. Let's make that a little less wide. I will add in a button. So here we got our first slide. Then to uh, add to our second slide, we'll just go to our second slide. I actually added those to the third slide. So to choose any slide, just click it in the structure panel. Let's to this one, we'll add in a video. And then to the next slide, we will add in a button. Whoops, looks like I added in that button to the first slide. So to move an element from one slide to another, simply open the structure panel, find the element, and drag it to the slide you wish the element to be in. And above this button, let's add in a heading and add some space. And there we go. Now we have created a slider with whatever content. You can put any content you want in a slider. That's the beauty of Oxygen Slider. You're not limited to any predefined layouts. Now let's take a look at the slider styling and configuration options. So first, the configuration. We can choose whether or not to show the slider arrows. Those are on the left and right side of the slider. Allow the user to navigate from slide to slide. So we can hide the arrows. Now there are no arrows or show arrows. We can choose to show the slider dots or hide them. The dots are the dots in the bottom. You can click a dot to navigate to the corresponding slide. If you uncheck that, there are no dots. And if you hide the dots and the arrows, you'll probably want to enable autoplay. That will make the slider play on its own. Set the delay as how long each slide is visible for. 3,000 milliseconds means each slide shows up for three seconds. And you can also choose infinite. Right now, without infinite shows, and when you get to the last slide, it scrolls all the way back to the first slide. But if you choose infinite, when you get to the last slide, it will actually continue on as if the first slide is over to the right side. The effect doesn't work inside the visual editor because of the way unslider and oxygen are designed, but I will save this and would take a look on the front end to see an infinite slider. So first slide, second slide, third slide, and now it slides to the first slide again, but it looks like it's still sliding forwards. So that's the infinite slider effect. Uh, now let's take a look at the slider styling options. So you have two animation types, horizontal and fade. Horizontal just means the, it slides in horizontally. Fade means it fades out from slide to slide. This will of course look better if you make sure all of your slides are the exact same height and have similarly shaped contents. You have your animation speed, that's how long it takes to fade or slide. Then you have your arrow color, that's darker or lighter. So darker makes the arrows darker than the background, lighter makes the arrows lighter than the background. And you have dot color, which is the color of the slider dots at the bottom. So you can choose any color you want. You make it white, you can make it maybe a light blue to fit a little better with this design. Um, then you have options for slide padding on uh, dots overlaying the slider and the slide stretching to the same height. So I'll illustrate those options by making a new slider containing images. Uh, and then we're going to make a full screen slider. So I'll delete the existing slider and then go to helpers, slider to add another slider. And then inside this slider, I'm just going to put three images, one in each slide. So first, to, actually, instead of using images, I'm going to use background images. So first, I'm going to set up um, a heading and some text in the first slide, which is kind of an example layout that we might have. And then for the first slide, I'll go to advanced, background, background image, 
choose an image, and we're going to set this to um, cover the slide. Then I'm going to do the same for the second slide. In fact, I'm going to duplicate this first slide twice and just change a background image. So duplicate, duplicate. Let's change a background image here. Advanced background, browse. Choose this image. And then advanced background, browse. Choose this image. Now let's say we want to make a full height slider. Well, first we'll go to the section containing the slider and we will remove the padding from the section itself. So no more padding on the section. Then we're gonna set the section's width to be full width. So there's no more gutters on the section. And then we're gonna set the height to be 100 VH. That's gonna make it exactly the height of the browser viewport. So now we have a full width, full height, no padding section. Now what we're gonna do is use those slider styling options to make the slider full height like that. So we'll go to slider, uh, styling, and first thing we're going to do is remove the padding around the slides. So as you can see, this is the slider over here, but there's padding around each individual slide. This is an individual slide, this is the slider. So styling, remove padding around slides, that will remove that padding. Then we want the dots to actually overlay the slider itself. We'll choose dots overlay slider. Um, and then what we're going to do is choose all slides. Well, first we'll make the slider full height. So we'll go uh, advanced, size and spacing, height, 100 VH. And that makes the slider big, but the slides itself don't stretch. So that's why we'll go to the slider, configuration, or sorry, styling, all slides stretch to same height. And now, we have a full width, full height slider. Let me fix this background image because I accidentally used the same one. And look at that. Full width, full height slider. Let's take a look on the front end. And there we go, beautiful effect. Okay, this is Lewis from SoFly, and thank you very much for watching. That is how to use Oxygen's extremely flexible slider element.